Man, I am pumped, family. We got the money rolling. We got Jay Powell and his crew coming out and telling us exactly what we wanted to hear for the TMF family. This is it. This is what I've been waiting for. So much so that I went out there and loaded up an additional thousand shares of TMF. I am ready for this. This was the support I've been waiting for, family. I told you that the best thing that they could do is come out and tell us that we're going to taper and we're not going to let 60 billion in treasuries roll off anymore. I said they're going to cut down to 30 billion. I was wrong. Oh, Jay Powell heard that and said, hold on, we can make this even better. And there's no way I expected this. They said, we're only going to let 25 billion roll off. That was absolute music to my ears. That gives us the opportunity to get a floor. Now, remember, June 1st. So we still have some some issues out there. They're still letting it roll off, but now they can support the treasuries a little bit. You don't need as much as that private market out there. I am so pumped. And on top of that, whoa, Neo family, where are you at? Man, did you see that stock absolutely blow up today? Now, it doesn't take away from all the pain over the last two years, but what a day. We got a lot to cover. And for those who haven't done it, get into the Stockmo Patreon. We got the bot. The bot has been absolute fire and this is my strategy it has the computer program puts it together it pulls up the chart for you no more begging for someone to run charts for you you got it right here i'll give you an example as we're talking about layout you just click on it boom stock mo indicator boom let's take a look at neo i had a couple people in here say hey man did you see it running today mo and man was it running it looked beautiful but more importantly I was loading up on the treasuries. As you can see, did it give us the notification here? Yes. Boom, up it went. How about here? Well, we had flip, but we we'll always go with the latest one, the red. Did it drop? Yes. You get the notification, did it run? Yes. This is the bot. This is, if you're looking for that kind of tool in the tool chest that can help you dominate this market, this is it. I'm telling you, this is years in the making all the strategies, the technicals, then getting it into the program, getting it to all it is is a simple command. This is it. Come on over, folks. Join us. We're having a ball in here right now. Uh, but you can see Neo hitting that. Now, it is hitting the Bollinger Band. I will warn people, once you hit that Bollinger Band, remember, we usually get a little bit of some consolidation and then the next leg up. If we confirm above the 50 family, this could be huge. Now, we come out, we look at TMF. I bought $40,000 of additional TMF. I've been waiting for this for, it seems like years, but it hasn't been, it's been months. Oh, I'm so pumped for this. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. The news that the Fed is finally gonna help out long-dated treasury holders, huge. Now, I know what you're saying, they're still rolling it off, you're right, but man, they're doing it slower. They're doing it slower. And that support could be huge. I think it was like 250 billion. For those following along in the treasuries with me, I think the government needed what? They were calling for 250 billion or roughly around there over the next quarter. Well, keep this in mind. The Fed now will kind of assist in that. 35 billion, remember, because it was 60 billion rolled off every month. Now it's down to 25 billion. So that 35 billion times three is 105 billion in assistance for that whole bond, for the whole treasury. I, I'm loving this. And instantly, and, and this is what I always see in the treasury market. It takes a while. It doesn't price it in right away. You see this little push here, and that was fine. I was buying down here. Uh, I wasn't wait. I bought when I, I heard Powell say what he was saying. And as soon as he said it, I pulled the trigger, notified people in the stock squad over at the Stock Mo Patreon. We got it taken care of. And now we wait. Now, for those who day trade with me, back in the day, you remember this little flag pattern right here? We know what should happen next. Doesn't always happen. We know the percentage of success and failures, but we traded this so many times. Consolidation, and then the next leg up. Uh, I, so I'll be interested in seeing if we can pop this, but man, I am pumped. The RSI got too high, obviously, so it had to cool down, which it's doing. Uh, once you get it down in the 60s, which is a 65, we wait. I like to see it get down and touch the 50 RSI. Then it has its next leg up. We'll see if that happens. Uh, I'm not going to be shocked to see that happen or if it touches the 50 EMA. These are the things that we talk about over at the Stockmo Academy. If you guys haven't done that, Codemo is extended until 
Monday. Then it's officially done. The course is more expensive. We got so many upgrades that we did. It's crazy. So if you haven't joined my course, get in there now because this is insane amount of education you're going to get and everything else we added in there. So code Mo will save you a ton. So I'm watching the TMF. Like I said, this is, and there, there it comes down, which is always fun to watch because when you're in this and you're, you're watching the, the minute chart, it is like the wild, wild west. Every word that Jay Powell says has an effect on it. He's talking right now. Obviously, I'm making a video. You're watching the markets. We'll check out the markets right now, and you can see the markets are liking what they're hearing. And I said the same thing. Right here was the line I thought we needed to break. We broke it. Now we're running. I think we get up there, and we're going to test that 431.17. It was good news, family. This was good, good news. And then, of course, Neo family. I know you're out there. People always, and it's funny to me because I'll read in the comments and people will make videos. They'll do a, Mo sold all his Neo. I didn't sell my Neo. I'm a, I, I tell you, I'm going to hold on to it until the end of this year. I'm holding on to it to the end of this year. Did we finally turn the corner? Look at the minute chart. We did. The time to buy this was at 2 o'clock. Right here, we broke and confirmed. Right here, 2 o'clock was when you buy. And if you bought at 526, and we're now up to 540. That's how simple using my chart and my bot can be. And it's, in, it's just crazy to watch. Like, I'll give you an example. And I, and I have not pulled this up on my chart, but let's go ahead and try this together. Let's see what my bot says. So pull it up. We'll put in the stock mode ticker, and we'll put in NEO. And I'm going to pick the time frame of one minute. Put it in. We're going to see what the bot tells us here. It might be a, might need to do the three minute because it's moving a little bit past that. And that's what we're kind of watching for. So here we go. As you Right there it is. Exactly what I was saying. So once you got down here, you cross over, you got the signal. Up it goes. We have a little bit of a self cross signals. Of course, it reverses instantly. Up it goes. And you always go with the latest signal. And I know some people, well, I shorted here. Yeah, well, then it gave you the opposite. Then you run. I shorted here. Well, then it gave you the opposite. It runs. This is a very active play, and so you got to be very active in the minute chart. So this gives you that example of what the bot can do on the day trading, but at the same time, man, this is, I am so pumped. Uh, we'll, I'll even pull up another chart for those out there watching. It's good, and somebody asked me about, hey, what do you think about that, Mo? And i, I got to be blunt with you. I'm excited to see it finally have a nice day, but at the end of the day, I am still down a ton on NEO. So it's nice to see it. So as it pulls it up here, and you can see what's going on with the whole daily chart, we had the, oh, we had a little spike, and then, of course, hit off the 50, got the red signal, down it went. Now we got the green signal a couple of days ago, and I had a lot of people who were in this. They are over there at the Discord. They were talking about it, how they, hey, the bot gave me the signal. I jumped in, Mo. I jumped in, and they were jumping in at a little over $4. We are now at $5.42. They are absolutely, they are static. This pays for the membership easily. So they took care of it. I'm happy for them. I told them I need to see this get back into the double digits for me to feel comfortable again uh, in terms of how much I lost and how much I make. This needs to run. And so hopefully at this point we do. Now, for those who are following me, you guys know a few things. I got the Ethereum positions. I got the TMF positions. Uh, more importantly, I also have the, this is the one I'm kind of watching, Yin. Let's pull this one up. You guys know I'm in Yin. And I'm heavy in. Heavy, 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 heavy. Today was a good day. 4.41%. I would expect more moving forward. You got China going around the world trying to drum up business. You got the U.S. They're ba the U.S. begging China for uh, to fall relationships. Everything's kind of coming together. And so I like this one. For those who have been with me, you guys know what's going on. It's not going to be a, a, a solid, hey, it's only one direction up, you know. We started buying a couple weeks ago, and since then it's up 30% which is fantastic. And that's where I'm kind of going with it. So now we take a look at the markets. You can see what's going on. Green across the board, VIX collapsing down. SoFi, 5.75. And for all those people buying with me, we are buying a high risk place. Today's the kind of day where you just sit back and smile. The TMF, nice 3.35%. Tesla up 1.18. Uh, NVIDIA down, not, not a good sign there. That's kind of weird, but there you go. Uh, Vanguard bond, the total bond fund, which I always talk about, BND and T-bill. There you go. We got what we're talking about. Let's take a look at you two. You guys know I keep my cash there. Okay, nice little gain there as well. Uh, remember, that's like a cash-like treasury, two-year. I like it. We're going to see how things going over the last, remember, it paid off on May 1st, so now it pays off your interest, and now it builds itself back up. So 
we'll see where it goes. Family, I'm, I'm pumped if you can't tell. A lot of good things going on. I will say this, for the small account challenge, people have been asking, what are you going to buy, Mo? Let's go ahead and talk about what I'm going to buy. Let's go ahead and put it out there. I think I'm going to buy some of this. Volunteer. There you go, folks. PLTR, let's go. I am looking to buy $10 of this for the small account challenge. I know some people out there, uh, were, you know, you're following along. You're saying, what's he going to do? We're doing all right. And you can see we came up. We had that consolidation come under the 50. It's sort of like the TMF right here. You see it run up, breaks the Bollinger Band. Then you have consolidation. Comes down, test the 50, a little bit under the 50. And I think we run from here. Bollinger Band tightens up nicely. And we're riding that 50. You can see we got under over the RSI 50 here. A lot of things going on out there. But overall, I think old Jay Powell said, hold on. I think I can help you guys make more money. And so that's what I'm reading in everything he talked about today. I'm pretty pumped. It doesn't mean everything's going to be easy sailing from here. There's definitely some concerns I have out there. But for the treasuries, for TMF, uh, let's go ahead and pull that up on the daily chart. I want to show you the daily chart on this. Uh, as you can see, as we came down, we got broken bad over the last few months because inflation was hot. Now... At this point, you can see that I have a line in the sand right here. Double lines, actually. I have the original at 42. I thought we should be able to hold 42, hopefully, as they start the tapering process. And that should be big for us. But as you look at this, you never know how things are going to go because that process needs to start getting effect. Have them starting to support the Treasury market. That should be okay. That could, you know, Obviously, he said June 1st. We're not there yet, so keep that in mind the volatility still will be there. But I think people like me see the writing on the wall, start to buy in a little bit early. And for those who do not like TMF, do not want the triple leverage, do not want to take the risk, because there is a lot of risk with this, you can go ahead and get into something like TLT, which is no leverage. And TLT, very same, uh, there's no decay, you get your interest, and you can see the same kind of chart here that I had at the last one. You come down, we're kind of seeing that. I don't have the same lines, of course, because I haven't charted it the same way, but that's what you're looking at. So TMF, um, <laughs> we'll get the right one, TMF. So what I'm watching for, and people say, well, when would you panic, Mo? Panic, I would probably say if we broke down here. If we got below 38, I think that's bad news. We got down there below uh, back in October. If we got back down to 38 and broke that and confirmed anywhere 37 or anything, I would be concerned. And of course, I'd have to reevaluate. But at this particular moment in time, I think Jay Powell came out. I think he's given us the, the information. And you're going to see it volatile today. And there's no doubt about it. He's up there talking. You're going to see it up and down all over the place. And, but I feel pretty good about it. And I have no problem holding on to it at this particular moment in time and seeing where it takes us. Now, the other thing, obviously, yin I like. You guys know that. It's going to be bouncing all over the place as well. And uh, Ethereum should do well. And for those who know it, you guys know, because everybody, I'm not just in ETH, of course, E-T-H-E. -E, I'm also in Ethereum as well. I have a substantial amount of actual ETH. So a little combination of both. I wanted to give a quick update. You can see the market's kind of loving what Powell said. Unlikely to be a hike. And that was big. They have the taper. Uh, we got the tapering event. That's big. So everything's kind of working out. And I think the whales will price this in over the next few days. And that's kind of what we're going to sit here and wait for. You got volatility today. I absolutely expect volatility. Look at this. Straight across. I told everyone the, the options market was pricing in a 1% move. Look at this move. 1.56%. Once again, the options market did not price it in properly. Straddle, a straddle, uh, uh, straddle strategy on this would have worked out very nicely for people. Uh, once again, you would have made a little bit of money. You would have made a little bit of money on that. Uh, the same strategy when I had, uh, I think it was me and Josh, we talked about that during the last one that we ended up talking about doing a straddle that it would work, and it did. And this time, I believe, would have been very, very much the same. So old Uncle Jay Powell knows what he's doing. He's bringing out those gains, and we're going to go from there. But I, I wanted to share that with everyone. Now you have an idea of what's going on, where I'm seeing things. I thought this was an absolute banger of a meeting by Jay Powell and the crew. They will get a Christmas card this year for me. And we're going to see if this turns into bigger gains in the near future, or if we are going to retest the 9 to 15% down that we normally see 
when the market has that big run up like we saw 20 to 30 percent up and then we get a normal retracement of that 9 to 15 percent down and then the next leg up like we have done the last few run-ups we don't know yet we still got to sit here and wait today's a good day uh, but it can change quickly we will see now i think smart money will move in we'll see what it's doing tomorrow i think that'll be big i think that'll happen here well i would say happening here in the next few minutes plus into the next two days you will have an idea what the whales think of all this information they will price it in they will make moves you will see billions if not trillions of dollars moving around hopefully supporting and pushing this market higher that now for a, a bunch of people like i said my course if you haven't gotten in we extended it just for a couple of days here and then the price is going significantly higher and of course code mo will no longer be active so moe at checkout you can save yourself a ton get in there with lifetime access to the course take advantage of it today and for those who have not gotten their 10 free shares from Moomoo, Moo, that link is down there. Put $100 in using my link. I got my small account challenge. I'm going through. I'm buying all my shares on Moomoo Moo, uh, with the fractional shares. You get 10 fractional shares of the Magnificent 7, NVIDIA, Amazon. Oh, I mean, it's just incredible. Take advantage of it today. Uh, and then come on over to my Discord, StockMo Discord. That link is down below. We are having a ball. It's time for you to get into a community that can actually help you with the right tools. And we got them. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.